In this video, I'm going to talk about what happens after you finish Rise of the Ronin on the PlayStation 5. So the final mission that you're going to play of the Rise of the Ronin campaign is called the Veiled Edge. Once you see that you have this mission available as your next mission, you'll know that you are at the end of the game. But once you start the mission, there will be a few cinematics that play, but the main part of the mission is fighting your Blade Twin. Once you fight your Blade Twin, you'll have to make a decision whether you want to kill your Blade Twin or to spare them. Now the choices you make do affect the way that the game ends and what I mean by this is that you get a different cutscene for the choice that you make as well as different rewards that goes along with the choice. So once you have made your choice you'll watch the end game cinematic and the credits and once that is all done you'll be returned to the Edo region where you'll either get the Invernus coat or the Vengeful Demon's Kimono which will be the first pieces of masterwork equipment that you get. After getting this equipment, the game will then tell you all the new features that you've unlocked for completing the campaign, which includes the midnight difficulty, the masterwork equipment, ally missions, and breakthrough skills. Now, in order to see the breakthrough skills, you want to go to your stats in the pause menu, and you'll see with the Veiled Edge symbol, all the new breakthrough skills that you can unlock such as learning new combat styles for different weapons you have not used before, as well as different benefits to your character, such as increasing your maximum health or increasing the attack power of sub-weapons, and so on. Once you are done checking out all the new stuff, you can head back into your longhouse, where the game will tell you that you can now craft and use the blacksmith from within your longhouse. You will be able to craft anything that could be crafted at a vendor, as well as being able to use all the blacksmith features from blacksmith vendors. Now in order to play the Midnight difficulty level, what you need to do is go to your longhouse and go to the Testament of the Soul. Once you're there, you'll see in the bottom right hand corner that you can switch to Midnight and this essentially changes the whole game from the Dusk mode, which is the default difficulty, to the Midnight difficulty, which is a harder difficulty with better rewards, including masterwork equipment. Now once you switch to the Midnight difficulty, you will be able to play all the Ronin missions, from the main storyline as well as bond missions and ally missions which is a new feature that you will get after completing the main campaign. Once you switch to the midnight feature you will only be able to play in the Yokohama region at first as you will need to complete a few Ronin missions in order to unlock the next region which would be Edo and then in Edo you would also have to complete a few Ronin missions there to unlock Kyoto's missions. Once you have switched to the midnight difficulty you can then head into Yokohama and you should see that once you pop into the area, it will tell you that you are playing on the Midnight Difficulty. Now, once you're on the Midnight Difficulty and you take a look around the map, you'll see that most of the collectibles have respawned in the areas. With public orders and fugitives requiring you to be level 60 and higher, and considering that I've completed most of the game and its collectibles, and I'm not even level 60, is quite high. Which just shows you how difficult this mode is. You'll see as well when you go to the missions list and you look at the Ronin missions, you'll now see that the rewards that you get include masterwork equipment. As you can see, there is a bunch of new rewards for each mission, including masterwork equipment. So once you enter into the midnight difficulty level, you will keep all your equipment and gear that you had previously in your default difficulty run, so that you'll actually be able to have a chance against the higher leveled enemies. This is important to note as you would probably want to collect and get to the highest power you can possibly get in the default difficulty so that when you do come to the midnight mode it will not be as difficult. Now ally missions is a relentless mode where you and your allies go up against enemies or do specific tasks that are extremely difficult. Now I tried doing this straight after completing the campaign and I got absolutely destroyed. The enemies literally do not stop hitting you and there's literally no time to block. So I recommend getting to a much higher level, probably over level 60 to start doing ally missions. Now, if you didn't know what masterwork equipment is, it essentially is just the highest rarity of gear that you can get in the game post completion. Now, there's nothing that special about masterwork equipment other than the fact that it has a very high power when you get it and that it has higher stat boosts and obviously can offer more special effects than the average gold or legendary, whatever you want to call it, armor pieces. Masterwork equipment can only be unlocked in the midnight mode and cannot be unlocked in the default dusk mode. 
And also, don't forget that you can also use the Testament of Soul not only to replay missions for new rewards, but to also make different choices so that new missions can become available, such as when you need to make anti-shogunate choices or pro-shogunate choices throughout the campaign, such as this section right over here where 75% of people decided to cooperate with Katsura and the other 25% decided to go against the anti-shogunate forces. And also one thing that you might have forgotten is that you can actually fight the secret bosses once again and this time around they will give you masterwork equipment for defeating them. It's been Zach from the ConCon channel. I hope this video helps you out in getting to understand what happens after the end game. Let me know down in the comments below if this helped and thanks for watching guys.